happening, man? We're the whole opening sound. Listen, uh, I uh, got the stuff that you asked me to bring. Okay, okay. I'm in the Orca. Uh, oh, you're, fl you're flying the Orca, okay. Yeah, well, bringing it to FanFest, just like you asked. Yeah, absolutely. Um, we, we're, we're, heading, we're heading to Tama, like I, like I asked. I think to Tama, are you sure? Yeah, because I, I, think, I think that's the right way, because uh, I, I, I didn't bring my map, but uh, a lot of stuff happening. But okay. uh, I, I was in Tama recently, and I met some uh, really nice people there, so I, I kind of... All right, well, I got the cargo that you asked for. Uh, 100 friendships, bringing yeah. it to FanFest. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah. The friendship has to make it to FanFest. Uh, and I think like Ta Tama is a good way to go. We, uh, we're expecting to find the party there. Uh, everybody should be waiting for us, I hope. Yeah, I mean, I've got my party launchers, I've got my ECM. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and, and this, we're about to land on the gate. It's, it's getting closer. I'm so excited. This is going to be such a great weekend with all our friends. Is the uh, welcoming committee going to be there? I I'm hoping they'll be on the other side of the gate. That would be a lot of fun. Okay. Um, uh, I think, like, yeah, I'm, 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 you know, you think people will be on the gate waiting for us. And uh, are you, are you ready to uh, do this? I'm ready, ready to, to do, do it. it. All right, so Three, uh, two, two, one, one jump. jump! Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Low security system. Wow, that's uh, sounds safe. Yeah, sounds sounds safe. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. Well, hey, hey. Well, welcome Nobody's committee. No here. welcome committee. I, that's strange. Uh, you know what? I'll take us to the hottest place in the system, to the sun. Okay. That that yeah. That, that's a good that's a good call. That's probably where the party is. Uh, hottest place in the galaxy. Uh, okay. So we're heading to the sun. Uh, you got your friendship. Uh, everything's working out. Uh, yeah. It, do you think we'll have people there? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Hey. You know what? I think we're getting there. I think we're oh, there. Oh yeah. Hey. I think I see some people. Yeah, I think we're there. Hey, hey, what's up? What's up, everyone? How you guys doing? Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> this will be fine. Yeah, yeah. I think like <laughs> I mean, we, we didn't find the station, but like we'll uh, we'll 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 talk later. We'll be fine uh, there, right? Yeah, yeah. He'll take yeah. care of the friendship. Yeah. Yeah, He's yeah, the yeah. guy, right? Yeah. yeah. All right, cool. Yeah, we, we know people there. They're friendly. You guys think it's safe? Yeah. We'll just, yeah, sure. <laughs> See, these guys these guys would not lie to us. These are our friends. All right. <laughs> All right. Uh, it's amazing to be here. Uh, welcome to FanFest 2018. My name is Bjorn B. I'm an even line streamer, and I'm honored to be on stage here with CCP Guard. Let's get another round of applause for him. Yeah, we had an uh, we had an important job to uh, get the friendship here, and I needed a competent co-pilot to get me there. So uh, we'll 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 be uh, we'll get that to you later once uh, we're safe from uh, that that thing there. So <laughs> Eve is 15, huh? Yeah, Eve is 15. Can you believe it? It's kind of kind of trippy to think about it that uh, it's been 15 years of Eve Online, um, and you know, looking cool at 15. <laughs> we definitely pulled it off. Yeah, Come on. Yeah, it's not easy, but we pulled it off <laughs> totally, right? Uh, these guys wouldn't lie to us. Uh, <laughs> Eve totally pulled it off. Um, you know, the game always looked amazing. I would totally play that game from back in the day. But just look at how it, how it, how far it's come. This uh, screenshot from Rasorian uh, really just hammers it home how beautiful it is. Um, and uh, it's 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 been a, an amazing journey. And uh, I think. I think it would be rude not to uh, answer uh, Sicarius' uh, question from back in the day. There, I think we never did. Uh, we did end up finding something better than uh, Croquet. We found each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Right on cue. But awesome. Eve is more than just a pretty face. <laughs> yeah. Eve is more than just a pretty face. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> My, uh, my art team, uh, they're probably going to kill me. I didn't ask the permission for this, but uh, this is, uh, it's an important point. Uh, we give you guys tools to work with, and you do this. That's, uh, <laughs> you do something. You always do something, and it's always interesting. It's always more interesting than whatever we uh, figure you're going to do. Uh, and uh, yeah, we've been, we've been looking, we've been thinking about this a lot. Like, what it means, you know, uh, what all this means. And I read an article uh, the other day. That was really, uh, it really hammered home this sort of like the, the depth of EVE Online. And it was an article asking the question of what is EVE Online? Uh, which is interesting that someone is still asking that question since it was launched in 2003. Uh, but what's more interesting is that it was written by the Mitanni, who is a player who has played EVE's endgame, metagame, all that stuff on uh, 
whole other level to, to a lot of other people and have been involved in a lot of big stuff, um, almost for, for most of Eve's existence, and, and still found the drive to write a really long article uh, to figure out what Eve is and trying to peel at its layers. Um, and uh, it, it just like, came to me at a point where I was thinking a lot of the same things for the 15-year anniversary of Eve and FanFest. And uh, his conclusion at the end of the article is that he still doesn't know. Uh, and I think that's the same for a lot of us. And that just really, for me, captures what it is that makes Eve Online completely unique. Others uh, reached the same exact conclusion in only six and a half hours, just like this Steam review guy. <laughs> He's a little you know, bit more efficient with his time, but... Um, yeah, I mean, like, like you know, like... Uh, very, very efficient, very efficient guy. We gotta give him that. Uh, but so yeah, we all have our own version of this journey uh, on, on how we get there. And uh, yeah, we've been thinking about this a lot. We've been talking about the past and thinking about a lot of things. And you guys are gonna hear a lot about the future here at FanFest, but um, uh, a lot of cool things that are happening. <laughs> uh, but we, uh, we wanted to look back a little bit and uh, look at Eve. And uh, Eve is a, I mean, Eve is a really complex game. I mean, you know, it's not an easy game to play. No, uh, not just mechanically. It's also because it's mostly just human element. You're yeah. dealing with humans pretty much all the time, and uh, we all have our own ways of dealing with things. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, it, it's, it's, the thing is, like, um, the, the experiences and the interactions you have every day, they change the game from day to day, how you perceive it, uh, and, and make, it, you know, make it so that like, you're still answering this question. You don't know what Eve maybe really is, uh, to some degree. Um, and uh, these experiences and interactions in turn change us and uh, have an effect on who we are as people. We've been looking at, uh, we've been looking back, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's cool. I was looking back at, uh, we threw out this hashtag, getting people to think about like, who they were uh, before they became capsuleers. And uh, my journey started in 2003 when I uh, got a job uh, as a, a GM uh, at CCP and I started playing EVE uh, around the same time I started working here. So, uh, I, I didn't find, this is actually a picture from 2004. Uh, I didn't find any digital pictures of, him from, of me from 2003 because they were probably cave paintings. <laughs> but, uh, you know, this is like shortly after when I was still finding my way. And I was, uh, you know, it, it, feels, it feels like I've always been with Eve somehow. It feels like it's always been a part of me. It's, it's kind of strange to think about my life without Eve and, and you guys. Uh, and I was a GM and uh, I did this. That was a long time ago. Makes sense, right? Yeah, yeah, this is like, this is appropriate. Uh, <laughs> gacking someone for bumping someone else. Uh, that's That'll not show him, right? Could, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that today. Um, so a part of, part of this journey uh, was us learning how to take care of this universe, you know, what, what, what the right things are and how it works. Um, and uh, the first thing I remember about getting, really getting into EVE Online uh, and, and finding that moment where it hooked me was when I got my first PvP solo kill uh, and I was in a mauler fitted with medium rail guns, as you, as you do. Uh, and I was sitting in a belt uh, looking for fights and then a, a little frigate warps straight into my uh, range. Uh, some guy we'd been fighting before, and he just warped straight into my optimal range, I obliterated him, and I became a hero. I felt like I, <laughs> I'd won EVE, and it was amazing. And it was like, I, I'd lost a lot of fights before that, uh, always coming up short, and it was just not, uh, it, it, was not it didn't feel great, so this felt amazing, and that got me uh, really into it. Then I spent a lot of time in LOSAC, uh, did some time in Factional Warfare, and then I, uh, I was also in, uh, later, but I was in Pirate Corps uh, at the beginning. Uh, we had a little Pirate Corp, we were fighting little, other little Pirate Corps, and uh, we were mostly pretty bad. But I did make it to the top 10 uh, most wanted lists, which back in the day got me on those uh, billboards. Uh, there was a bounty with 60, for 67 million ISK, and uh, that was a lot of money back then. It was enough to get on the top 10. And this is not me, by the way. I, uh, I uh, lost the screenshot that I had. I took a screenshot, uh, went away with a hard, uh, an old hard drive, but I still remember it, because it was, it was something I was really proud of, flying past it and looking at it and admiring it. So uh, I got that mostly from uh, talking smack and local, because I wasn't really good at PvP, but I was really good at talking smack and local. <laughs> uh, it was kind of my thing. Uh, then this is the first thing I did uh, on stage for CCP, uh, GM panel at FanFest back in 2009. Uh, like I said, I like to talk. I talk the whole time. Yeah, I think we are, yeah. We'll get, we'll get some other stuff if we don't, yeah. <laughs> we'll get you other friendships, no worries. <laughs> uh, 
Um, yeah, and uh, yeah, I talked the whole time, uh, and uh, as I do, and then this happened. Yeah. <laughs> we got some uh, got some permaband fans in the house. Uh, we, we made uh, a rap video in 2009, and uh, it was the most popular new music video on YouTube in Sweden for three consecutive days. <laughs> a record uh, probably unmatched to this day, right? Quite an achievement. Uh, yeah, quite an achievement. <laughs> uh, and yeah, and that, that, was, uh, that, was, that was a lot of fun. Uh, and then uh, I moved from there into uh, marketing, started working on community stuff, um, started working on a lot of interesting uh, projects with you guys, catching up to all that you know about Eve and, and all the cool things you do. And uh, I've, I've, I've just learned so much from working uh, for you guys and with you guys on all these things. Uh, and I, I like to think of it as you have raised me from a little boy into a little man. <laughs> thank you for that. I <laughs> uh, just want to thank you all. <laughs> I just want to thank you for the opportunity. It's, it's been a blast, and I can't wait for more. But uh, your story is a little different. Yeah, my story is a little bit different. Um, being Icelandic, I'd known about this game for many years, and I tried it here and there, usually around FanFest, because then I'd hear something about it in the news. <laughs> but to be honest, I never really got into it. It wasn't until 2013 that I moved to Nullsack. I went and lived up in Fountain, and uh, I remember feeling like this tiny cogwheel in this big machine getting to be an F1 monkey in some fights leading up to the Fountain War. And this is when I started to really want to learn more about the game. Um, a little bit later than this, about 2014, I decided to go and binge watch a bunch of videos from Kill2, who of course is known as CCP Rice today, and all kinds of other YouTube videos. And I really, I had this urge, this, this desire to learn how to solo PvP and just understand the PvP mechanics in this game. Um, I remember it so clearly, uh, my first time actually winning a fight. I'd lost lots of ships before this, and uh, it's, it's so clear in my mind still, warping in my Vaxxer alone to these three destroyers, killing two, and the last one run away. And it was yeah. just, the, the feeling and the euphoria was just it was <laughs> like nothing I'd ever experienced in the game. Anybody familiar with that feeling? Uh, <laughs> I don't really get PvP shakes anymore, but this was a, this was a moment where I realized this game was completely different than anything else out there. And I realized that was hooked from that moment on. Mm -hmm. uh, later on, I went to join a group called Love Squad, who were part of Pizza. <laughs> and uh, they were led by someone called When I'm in Space, who became the top bounty hunter in EVE, which is a big <laughs> deal, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> I later on split from them, uh, went to do my own thing, and I started streaming EVE. And uh, I'm lucky enough to stream full time. I get to PvP all day, every day, whether it's solo or with uh, my fleet, the group of nerds who joined my beehive, which is like an NPSI group. <laughs> and no, before you ask, it's, uh, I'm not a goon, I'm just a different kind of bee. Yeah, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> we, have a, we have a lot to learn about space, uh, you know, here, us here on this planet, you know, we have a lot to learn about space and all the different kinds of bees that exist in space for some reason. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we, uh, we asked the same question, when did you start EVE? We, asked, uh, we used the hashtag on, on social media, and we asked people to share their stories, and, and some people sent pictures of themselves from the time that they started EVE Online. And it's, it's always so much fun to like, sort of dive behind the scenes and, 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 and you know, see who the people are behind the game uh, and hear their stories. So I recommend looking them up. It's, it's really fun. Uh, and uh, everybody, everybody, has, you know, every, everybody has these insights into where they came from, who they were, how, what EVE has done for them, and it's, it's, it's really fantastic. Speaking about community, the one that I've interacted mostly with lately has been the streaming community, um, especially the stream fleet. Uh, this is a group that's trying to take all the streamers and put them under one kind of roof. Um, we've been doing things like Twitch versus Eve, which we did very recently. We did one last year as well. We just took 50 or something streamers, and we all just went around <laughs> blowing up everyone else who would fight us. But you could see it from like 50 different perspectives, which is pretty crazy. Um, <laughs> I'm also very proud to have been a part of the charity things that we've done. For example, the... Um, what's it called? Evathon. Evathon, there we go, sorry. Yeah. Uh, we managed to raise $25,000, awesome. and CCP then put another 10000 on top of yeah. it. So I'm, I'm honored to have been a part of this, and I hope yeah. to be part of more of this in the future. 
give that all to Apple Gamers, and it yes. was uh, it was it was just fantastic to see, uh, and it was really cool to me uh, to see that like when stuff like this happens, uh, people just come together across battle lines, just like here at FanFest, uh, people who may be fighting wars and all kinds of things, and they just like put down their weapons for a little bit and go do something together as EVE players and uh, as, a, as a space family. It's, it's really great. And I, I think like the streaming community is sort of a, it's a modern extension and incarnation of, of the community that's been growing for 15 years. And now it's very visible, the platforms change, the interaction changes, but it's always this strong, strong community of people. And we get to see more and more of that, which is fantastic. Yeah. Speaking of the uh, community, we have a bunch of streamers yeah. here and the stream feed group. Here's a picture of us from taken before. <laughs> yeah. uh, we've got more pictures of us getting set up and getting ready for all the uh, streaming stations we've got going here. We've got four different places we're going to be streaming from. Um, yeah, we're going to be streaming live from the halls, yes, uh, alongside the whole stream with like streamers are going to be streaming on their own channel, sometimes on the mainstream, all kinds of things happening. Lots of content for you guys at home. Uh, you have more content than ever before. And uh, we brought uh, these guys out to help us host the mainstream. These guys will be helping you uh, have fun. Uh, they will lead you through the whole thing. Uh, we'll be giving away all kinds of cool things. There will be classic e videos, presentations, uh, and you even, uh, you've been deciding some, uh, you know, I was some... lucky enough to get to design some mini games for FanFest, uh, a yeah. game that I'm going to put other streamers and maybe some, some figureheads through. Uh, here, for example, we've got a football field. These are two goals. It's called Tetherball, and uh, the objective is to jump a Dominix and tether it in the other position's goal. Uh, there's another thing called bowling, uh, which is, it's bowling in, in space. space. Um, <laughs> what we'll show you it on the stream. We'll, uh, we'll make some people jump through some hoops, something that they're not used to. Yeah, so we'll uh, get people on the set uh, to fight and play and do all kinds of challenges they've never done before. Uh, put their reputations on the line on the stream for you people at home. It's going to be uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. Lots of content this weekend. And uh, yeah, we 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 had a bit of a discussion about this because let's I'll, I'll I'll explain this to you. Bjorn Bjorn here, he's a purist. When he streams, uh, he doesn't really do giveaways on his own stream because he wants to know that people are there purely for the content. Whereas I work in marketing. <laughs> and uh, this happens to be, be my stream. So, uh, uh, Free stuff. We, yeah. <laughs> so for you guys at home, you're going to have a chance to uh, win all kinds of things uh, in random giveaways and in contests that will be explained on the stream over the weekend. Uh, these include the regular skins and plaques uh, coming out all the time. And then uh, we have some amazing gear from our sponsors. Uh, and you will be contacted if you win one of these things. And you need to respond to our official uh, representatives to handle all that and uh, we will get this stuff to you. Um, yeah, history. We yes. have a timeline wall outside. Um, we've had a wall like this, or CCB has had a wall like this for the last few years, but this year they're doing it different. They have a timeline on top of it, and uh, with all the different, or some of the events that have happened over the, yeah. the last 15 years, uh, what we, or they want you to do, is basically put your name where you feel like you joined the EVE community. Um, it could be when your character was born, whenever your character's actual physical birthday was, but for me, it would be around the 2013-14 mark. Yeah. But whenever you feel like you started really playing EVE, you want to see your name up there. Yeah. It's going to look amazing with all your names on it, and uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's going to be an awesome memorabilia from FanFest to see you up there. Then, uh, to further celebrate history, uh, we have uh, the Capsuleer Chronicles, which is a special room uh, that's, that we put a lot of work into making awesome for you guys uh, that are here. It's going to be a hangout room and a museum and a place to sort of look at Eve's rich history. There's some memorabilia in there and a really cool atmosphere. And we, we uh, can't wait to let you in there and uh, you know, let you check it out. Uh, and We've also got um, Andrew yeah. Gruen here in Iceland. Yeah, yeah. Um, Who's read uh, Empires of Eve? Yeah, lots of people. Uh, Andrew Gruen is with us at FanFest, um, and he is, he's done a really amazing job uh, with the Empires of Eve. It's been a smash success. Um, it, it, it goes through all the, all the amazing uh, wars that you guys have had, and it has sold over 15,000 copies, as was recently announced. Um, for and someone it, like me, not knowing what happened in the early days, yeah. it's really cool to go back and see what was the shape and why is it the way it is today? Why is the political way 
in Eve the way it is today, and you can see that at the starts of it yeah. if you read this uh, this book. Yeah, it's really cool. That's that's a, that's a really that's a really important thing. You know, you see all this stuff happening today, but you know, how did it all start? How did Where, it start? How did it, yeah. you know? How did people do it back in the day? Um, and uh, and parts of Eve, uh, it, it's it's a history of how the political ideas kind of first took hold in Eve Online, uh, what led to the creation of the first governments, political icons, how they did things, uh, how those governments eventually collapsed in the, you know, in a state of total war from 2007 to 2009. Um, and then, uh, but as it turns out, you know, you players keep writing history. You write more and more history. Um, uh, histories that are built on war and peace, betrayal and friendship. And these stories uh, that have happened since Empires of Eve uh, drop the pan, uh, they deserve the same recognition uh, as the early wars. So, fueled by your accomplishments in EVE Online, uh, Andrew Groen has decided to pick up the pen once again. I think a Kickstarter went live this morning, and he's going to cover a story from 2009 yeah. to 2014, 15? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some more recent events. It's going to be uh, the Kickstarter. Uh, it's live, it launched this morning. Um, there will be a lot of noise made about that here at FanFest and after, and we urge all of you to go support the Kickstarter. Uh, it's a fantastic project, and this really, really needs to happen. It's gonna document all the cool things you guys have been doing in the, in the last years. But... Uh, Some safety tips. Yes, <laughs> the practical, practicalities. You guys are in Iceland, as I'm sure you've uh, found out. Uh, <laughs> This is uh, the most Very recent map, map we could find. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've, it's, it's the most up-to-date map we have of this little island. I've had lots of nerds ask me where they should go, and I tell them, just stay out of the water. Just go north somewhere. You'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the volcanoes, don't step at the volcanoes. Avoid the monsters. You'll be fine. Um, but uh, here in Reykjavik, it's a really little, uh, nice little city. Uh, we've had a tourist boom, so uh, we have a lot of things to do. Really good restaurants, uh, amazing local beers and, and, and good stuff uh, for you to do. Good nightlife, uh, bars, all that stuff. So you should ha find everything you need here, uh, as long as you avoid the traditional Icelandic food, because uh, it's just, it, it's a trick. It's just pick pickled monsters and, and stuff. <laughs> so don't do that. We have these uh, hashtags here that if you want to follow us on, on all kinds of um, social, social media. media. There we yeah. go. And uh, you share have your, your own favorite one. Yeah. Share your stories uh, here using these official hashtags. Feel free to make up your own. Uh, this is where we'll sort of be cataloging what happened. So if you want everybody to know about it, use these uh, hashtags. And then there's a special one uh, yes. just for me. This is just for me. Uh, we want to get your stories, especially if you meet yeah. someone you've been playing with for years, or if you met someone who is your arch nemesis, because you might have more in common than you think. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's always fun to see those stories from FanFest. Look, I met this person, I've never met this person in the flash before, you know, they, they're just like, it, it's a special moment. So, you know, if you feel like it, uh, grab a picture of your, you together, tell us your story, throw it on Twitter, and, you know, it'll help us uh, keep those FanFest memories intact. On top of that, we've also got uh, all kinds of social media links, but check out the fanfest2018.shed.com. It's for the schedule. You can also see the streamfleet.org yeah. website for that yeah. if you want to see the streaming schedule, but definitely check out this link here. Mm -hmm. And we'll be, uh, for those of you uh, not here uh, or here just busy doing something else, if you miss some of the main presentations or something, the updates will be going out on these official channels. So if you don't have time to watch the whole stream, you can uh, pick up on the important bits uh, there. There's going to be a lot coming out, so uh, just prepare. Also got a tournament. Oh, yeah. Did anybody sign up for the uh, Kaltari Corporation Cup? <laughs> yeah. Can I, can I just hear uh, a, a, a cheer from the winners? <laughs> wow, that's a, that's a big team of three. Um, but, uh, yeah, the Kaltari Corporation Cup is brought uh, to you in uh, cooperation with Tournament Powerhouse event uh, who have flown all the way here to help us out. Uh, here they are, lovely, friendly guys, uh, Bay, uh, Biohazard, and Nash, um, and, they, uh, and they're going to be here, so if you see them, give them a pat on the back. They're going to uh, be streaming the whole thing yeah. from a 10 plus gaming um, Twitch TV site, 
Yeah. But the finals are going to be streamed on the CCP channel, so if you just want to catch that, just stay tuned on this channel. But if you want to see explosions all weekend, then definitely check them out, or any other streamers who mm -hmm. will be live. Yeah. And uh, the winners, or the top two teams, are going to walk away with awesome prizes from uh, our sponsors at NVIDIA and Razer. And we're going to be giving out plaques to the, uh, to the uh, top teams as well. Uh, and anybody here at FanFest can go to the PvP room, uh, and uh, it looks great. And it's going to be a lot of fun in there uh, all weekend. Uh, just fights and explosions uh, all, all, all day. Uh, and just so I just want to recap a little bit what you guys at home uh, can do for content this weekend. Uh, you have social media will be on fire. Uh, we have the mainstream with more content than ever before, more sets, uh, more hosts, more games, more content, uh, all that stuff. Then you have Streamfleet streamers streaming uh, from the hallways of Harpa, live on their own channels, sometimes on the mainstream. And then you have uh, the Plus 10 Twitch channel streaming the tournament the whole time. So I hope you have a lot of monitors at home. Uh, we, <laughs> we just want everybody uh, watching EVE this weekend. So be sure to tell your friends in game uh, and anywhere you can find them. Yeah. Yeah. What are you looking forward to today, Bjorn? Honestly, I'm just here for the keynote. That's all I want to say. <laughs> I mean, that's why we come here, right? To see what's coming. Yeah. yeah I mean, I'll I be honest, I can't wait for 1700 because. I've seen a couple of things, and I haven't been able to talk to anyone, and it sucks. <laughs> so I can't wait for you guys to see what's happening and what's coming in Eve, so I can talk to you all about it. Yeah. Bjorn, let's. What's in the keynote? I see. Train him well. Train him well. <laughs> he is. Uh, he is immune to both bribes and torture, so don't get any ideas. <laughs> you only have to wait a few hours, and we need this guy. So. Uh, uh, it's going to be great. It's going to be a really awesome time, uh, and we can't wait. Then uh, We're going to have a space satirical EVE prop. Yeah. Can you tell us more about it? Yes. This is, uh, if, if I were to, you know, if I worked in marketing, I would market it as uh, the best stories from EVE Online you've ever heard told by people who have never played EVE Online. <laughs> With your help. That's Sounds the important like a train bit. wreck. Yeah, we'll need to. Yeah, it's going to be a beautiful, uh, delicious train wreck. Uh, these guys are trained professionals. It's a super great uh, local improv group. Uh, they're really funny and awesome, and it's going to be a good time. So uh, definitely show up for that. Uh, and then Andrew Groen's history panel is taking place at two, um, and he's going to have a lot of cool things to talk about. And and he fills rooms wherever he goes, even when there's no Eve players. So you, uh, I'm, I'm sure it'll be a packed room for that. And then tonight, we're going to have the charity evening. Uh, we're going to be uh, sitting down with some of you to uh, you know, raise some money for the children's hospital, have some talks about, uh, about whatever we want about over, over food and drink. It's going to be a really good time. And we'll talk about the results of that uh, later at FanFest. Friday. Friday is going to be a busy day. You yeah. keep mentioning these triglavians. I wonder if they're going to be talked about tonight. Yeah, triglavians. Like it's a, it's a big mystery. Like mm. we we have no idea what it is because it is a mystery. But uh, I, we're hoping that you will find out more, and you definitely don't want to miss uh, any of those presentations. I am sure. Uh, and then we have lots some of other more. stuff coming, like the yeah. game design panel, project discovery roundtables. There's yeah. lots of player uh, roundtables as well, as yeah. there always are. Yeah. Definitely go check these out. This is really, really good. Uh, player presentations this year are off the hook. We have uh, lots of roundtables. We really want you guys to go to the roundtables because it's a special occasion. It's a special chance for our developers to sit down with you guys face to face. It's, it's so efficient. It's so good. Uh, and get that feedback on how to best do things for you guys. So if you're passionate or a subject matter expert on something, Go to the roundtables and meet our devs, get to know them, make those bonds, and give them those information. You also have something called CCP Games Games. Ah, yes. I'm glad you asked. Uh, CCP Games Games. Uh, I can't uh, let you in on all the details, uh, but it's something you do not want to miss. The CCP Games Games uh, is a special FanFest event taking place for the first time that will uh, have developers and players put everything on the line for your entertainment right here on this stage. It's going to be dangerous. Probably safe, though. Probably safe. Most likely. Probably safe, most likely. But we don't want you guys to be worried, because um, we've had everybody sign waivers, so whatever happens, we'll be fine. Yeah, the lawyers uh, are on it. Don't worry. And, uh, <laughs> and, and, and it's going to be a good, good time. So uh, let's, show, let's show for that and uh, have some fun before we head out for uh, Friday night in Reykjavik. Saturday, packed. Packed again. 
lots of player talks, lots of presentations. I think people will want to go to the structures presentation for sure. Um, and uh, all the round tables, all the good stuff. The live concept art. You've been to those before, yeah. right? Yeah, I remember last year or the year before we went to one where uh, people were just yelling, put a big rocket launcher on it, put a flamethrower on it, and you just instantly drew just... Was it yeah. last year? I think yeah. so, yeah. 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 Definitely yeah. go check that out. It's really cool and relaxing watching yeah. someone draw. At least I think so. Someone like uh, someone asked for a slave hold once uh, in an MR shape or something, and they put put it in. It's, uh, they do do anything. They do anything you want. Um, and uh, yeah, it's going to be a good. Time. Lots of good stuff happening on Saturday, and then we have the closing ceremony right here. Uh, we'll wrap up Fan Fest, uh, go through all the fun stories, uh, tell you some things, and have some fun together uh, before we get ready for the party at the top of the world. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna have um, we're gonna have permaband and base hunter uh, tearing it up uh, into the night. It's gonna be a great time. Yeah. Anybody coming? That's a few people. That's good. That's good. That's good. Um, yeah. The store. Yeah. Uh, the, we're gonna have we're gonna have we have a lot of new stuff in the store. Uh, he's good fella. He's my good friend. Uh, he's been stocking the store with new wares and classics, and uh, he's just waiting for you guys to pile up and buy all his stuff. Um, and you were telling me about a special, right? Yeah, I was like, I was I was kind of wondering like whether I should tell you because like uh, okay, I'll tell you. Uh, don't don't tell him I told you because I was supposed to uh, keep it kind of kind of exclusive. But there's a you, you, there's a special deal if you tell him the passphrase. The passphrase is. Um, does it smell like a dog in here? Got that? Make sure you say that to him. Say that Every to him. Every one of you. Say that to him. Just don't tell him I told you to. But uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, you'll get the good deal. Um, then our artists are going to be out in the hallway uh, with this hangout area where they're going to be doing live work on spaceships, just like they do in the office. Uh, and this is always the cool part of doing office tours, because I walk through. you walk through my uh, part of the building, I'm just writing emails which looks pretty boring, but these guys uh, look like they're making computer games, and that's uh, what we're all interested in. So they'll be there, you can go up to them, you can talk to them, uh, and get all the info on how they make things, and, and, and see the details of it, and uh, it's going to be really fantastic, and they're going to maybe be draw drawing some of you as well, so uh, it's, uh, it's going to be fun. <sighs> you also have the pub crawl, anyone going? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Yeah, I mean, like some say that uh, Falcon is already out there sitting on the aluminum throne waiting to uh, lead you out. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be doing something different this year. Yeah. Yes, you are. You're taking yeah. us on buses and trips, right? Yeah, taking people on buses, kind of off the beaten path, going to places you've never seen before, doing some different things. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun uh, with some surprises and uh, cool For things. For those of you who aren't going, though, there's of course going to be a hub downtown where everyone ends up anyway, so yeah. you're not going to miss out on, yeah. on too much, right? Yeah. So those of you not going on the pub crawl, you can meet us afterwards. Yeah. Then we have a uh, dunk tank here at FanFest. Why wouldn't you have a dunk tank, right? Yeah, and we're building. These are not the pictures of it, though, right? No, we don't have a picture of it yet no. because it's being built as we speak, uh, and it's going to be here ready on Saturday. Um, uh, some developers and players are going to get in for charity. It's going to be, uh, yeah, and people have been wondering about it, like what, what's, what's in the dunk tank, yeah. Yeah, Lots of I theories. heard Zarvox brought some piranhas from Australia, someone said yeah. acid from somewhere. Yeah, yeah, something. Like, the thing is, like, people ask us these questions, what's in the dunk tank, and, and the answer is always, you know, uh, don't worry about it. We'll find out when someone gets dumped. It's going to yeah. be good. It's going to be good. No, we're going to get... Uh, it, it's, a, it's a charity special event for you guys here. We're going to have some fun with that. And uh, if I just want to say, I'm going to get in it. And if, uh, if I get dumped, when I get out, uh, you're all still my friends. It's uh, no hard feelings. <laughs> but it's time to bring on a uh, special, uh, special man, someone who has been uh, a court mate of mine since 2003, actually. Um, and I still remember when we were uh, making the game back in the day, just the two of us. <laughs> good times. All the good memories, huh? Can't believe it's been 15 years. But uh, let's bring out uh, the CEO of my corporation, Hilmar Vegar Pietersson. Thank you, Svenny, making him online. Those were the days. <laughs> this is actually, if you don't remember, this is me mining to pay back my thorax. I lost an Eve. 
But hello, everyone. Hello. Hi. It's really great to be here with all of you. It's uh, such a moment every year. And now Eve is turning 15. Five more years, and it will be allowed to drink by Icelandic law. <laughs> Not that it's going to stop anyone tomorrow, I think. <laughs> and here's what Ivan Line looked like when he came out in 2003. Obviously, Ivan Line has always looked amazing. And here is what it looks like at 15. And I really like these two screenshots. They kind of give this promise of the beautiful, pristine world, which you have turned dark and evil. <laughs> such hope, such hate. <laughs> now, uh, obviously, Eve has come a very long way, and it's because of you. The difference between these screenshots is that this is a computer game, and this is a virtual world. It really looked lived in. It really looked like something that has been built by millions of people for 15 years. And this is FanFest, the first one. 300 space nerds in a basement. And this is us right now. Or should be us right now. Look at it. We're here in the biggest concert hall in Iceland. Almost purposely built for it. It looks like a spaceship. <laughs> so, uh, five years ago, I stood here on stage uh, at the 10-year birthday of Eve Online, telling you stories from my early days and feeling quite nostalgic. Uh, there, we did this bold proclamations about Eve Online in the second decade. I have to admit, it was a little uncomfortable talking about a game spanning decades, but now we're halfway through it, and by the looks of it, we'll be talking about plans for the third decade, just a few fan fests from now. <laughs> and this is all possible because of you. You continue to break records and inspire us. And uh, in the last couple of years, we've seen some of the biggest fleet fights in the game. We've seen Citadels die, we've seen large fleet engagements and various engagements. It's inspiring stuff. And we are committed to make EMO Online better and better with you. I know we have a lot of work still, but that's why it's exciting. You really still push gaming to its limits. And by making headlines around the world, your deeds in New Eden are the marvel of the entire universe as we know it. You have discovered 37 million classification project discovery. Basically, we're finding a new home for mankind when this one is ruined. Um, I'd like to take a, a moment right now for our players on Serenity. CCP has a huge interest and commitment to China. The coexistence of tranquility and serenity is something I care about very deeply personally. We know that some of our Chinese players have had their concerns in the past. But I want to reassure you that the future of Serenity is looking incredibly strong. For legal reasons, I can't really go into much detail right now, but I'm hoping, well, I'm not hoping, we will be sharing by the end of the year more details on what the future is for Serenity. But it's really looking uh, quite strong. And before we move on to some of the new games we're working on, I want to take a bit of stock of the activities we've been doing since last FanFest. So last year, we went really big into VR. We made some landmark products across the board. Despite our groundbreaking success in VR by VR standards, very regrettably, the multiplayer VR market just isn't there. So we decided to pursue activities closer to our own DNA with Eve and some of the things we'll be talking about here. But, uh, I really, I really want to kind of say that we will continue to support and maintain our VR titles, uh, as well as continue to investigate opportunities to bring them to wider audiences. I am very proud of the titles we released, and especially of the teams that made them. Can we give them a little applause? I think the games that we made are pretty amazing, and so do the people that continue to play them. 
VR is fundamentally a brand new medium. It's in its very early stages, but we still believe that uh, in the future it will really become a new human-computer interface, bring about cyberspace and eventually pod technology. <laughs> At eVegas last year, we heard about Project Aurora, which is our mobile titled co-developed Playdemon in Finland. Now I'm pleased to tell you that the game has an official name, Eve War of Ascension. Uh, since Iveka, quite a lot has changed in the game. We got really good feedback from all of you, and uh, the game was already quite amazing, but uh, we've been hard at work doing it. We've polished up for soft launch, uh, we've introduced a new combat system, and we've overhauled the player experience both station and star map. Our target is to have the game finished in your hands by the end of the year. In order to ensure our success, we have signed a publishing contract with Congregate, who will help us bring the game to market. A new build of the game went live this morning. It's Android only at the moment, and all FanFest attendees will be able to join. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone here in this hall will receive an email. Um, there we will have a link. Basically, click that link and put in your Google Play account details, and you will be able to download the game, uh, the new build to, the, to your phone, and play with all of us. <laughs> if you're wondering, it's a bit of both. Uh, <laughs> let, me just, uh, let me just pick up my resources. Bear with me. I, I need to get every advantage before we start playing. And you might notice it's an iPhone, so... Uh, obviously, a massive dev hack, so um, it works on both, but we're starting the journey on Android uh, because of the, some of the features we have there uh, to update the game. Um, so, this is a vision we've been talking about since 2011, a universe of e-products. We made some progress on this after many different attempts throughout the years. You've been here, you've seen all of them, uh, and I want to share some new developments with you. So, in May 2016, we shut down Dust514 Dust on the PlayStation 3. It was a sad moment, very sad, but it was very important because you could not take that incarnation any further. It was a combination of the tech base and the platform that just made it such that we couldn't uh, uh, continue with it. And I want to thank everyone that played the game and became a part of the Dust community, especially those that are still with us today and continue to hassle me on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dust has been a very important milestone for us as a company. It taught us a lot about how to build this kind of universe of products, what's important and what's not important. Also helped a lot with some of the tech foundations. So we learned a lot from this. It really helped us understand this, uh, this early on. Yeah. <laughs> so, last year at Ivecas, I stood on stage talking about uh, the current state of Ivanova. We have now moved the game here to Reykjavik, where uh, we've been up and running for quite a while now, and we're working with Sumo in the UK. And Project Nova has really gone from strength to strength, to the point we're now ready to talk about it more. It's obviously a project I've championed for many years, CCB Ratati has been leading the project, and his no-nonsense approach sort of permeates all the production, and obviously his passion for building a shooter in the EV universe, which he has been hard at work on in various roles for over a decade. And he obviously knows a lot about that after all that journey. Project Noah will launch on PC. We are committing... Yeah. And we're really committing to uh, develop the game um, to a point that meets your expectations and releasing it when it's ready and in the right way. Project Nova is shaping up to be a unique first-person shooter, innovative multiplayer gameplay, and an authentic new Eden experience. And we're going to be building this with the community. Uh, you recently all completed a study uh, or a survey we sent out, where it's actually 10,000 responses. And, uh, there, that's very clear, which we also knew from Dust, and it's also our own intent, is that the 
most important thing needs to be the moment-to-moment -moment gunplay experience. And that's really what the team has been focusing on. That means that when we release Project Nova, it will be not connected to aim online initially. So we're really focusing on doing that. One universe, one war is still the dream, and it's still our vision. Uh, and we want to build that with you, but we want to build it on a foundation where uh, the game stands on its own right, and then slowly, over time, we will find additional ways to connect the two experiences together. We obviously learned a lot from the initial attempt, so we will start with strong foundations, really tighten the, the core experience, then we'll start to in interconnect first socially, then economically, and then I think we will come up with ways we can't even dream up right now to kind of truly deliver on this promise. So here's where we are in the backstory. Eight of the warlords of Molten Heat is over, and the survivors are in exile. A few of them went into hiding, some have rep sought refuge in Avalon, while most have been killed. A new threat, an old enemy. It's time to rise again. Space will, will be your domain, the majestic spaceships of Emo Line will be your playground. Have you ever wanted what it's to be like to run around on a surface of a battleship to hear its guns roar? Soon you will know. Uh, we're looking forward to unveiling the game properly later this year. Uh, I'm happy to inform it will be in months, not years. Uh, but uh, you can go to cpgames.com slash Project Nova and sign up. Uh, and please do. It helps us a lot to know how many people are, are, are gathering up for this. Uh, helps us tune our messaging and how we roll this out, and also building up the initial community of founders to really make this one happen the right way. So, this was a bit of a taste of what's coming up uh, that isn't even online. Uh, we will looking forward to sharing with more of you as we progress through the year. Obviously, there will be a lot happening this year, as you see. Uh, as always, I will be around at the Harpa. Please uh, stop me, as you always do, and hustle me and tell me about your <laughs> adventures in Nima Line. I really enjoy that. I will be back for the Eve keynote in five hours at 17 hour hours, 1700 hours. Uh, and there we'll be talking about what's going on in Eve. So now let's bring back CCP Guard and Bjorn B for more shenanigans. <laughs> All right, man, that was, uh, that was some awesome stuff. I can't wait to get my hands on those games. Thank you, Hilmar. I uh, look forward to uh, seeing this guy back on the keynote later today. But we have some, uh, you, you have some stuff that you want to talk More about. More free this. stuff. Yeah, you, you know this guy <laughs> and his free stuff. He loves his free stuff, huh? So we, uh, we have a giveaway uh, from our sponsors uh, at Razer. We have two of their new phones to give out to attendees uh, that are present here in the room. Now, uh, these phones, they're really cool. Uh, they have like, a really beefy system. They're awesome. They have, uh, they're specially designed for gamers uh, and games, and they have a really good sound system. They're awesome. I really don't want to get rid of them, but we kind of... These are our friends. These are our friends, right? So, yeah. Rules are very simple. We're yeah. going to call your name and your corp, and you have 13 seconds to let us know you're here. If you're not, we're going to just give it to the next person. 13 seconds. It's very specific. Um, and uh, we're going to call out winners, and we'll see if they're in the room. First uh, winner is Tia Yasria from Atlantic Circle Reborn. Are you here? No. Where? Here. There. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Congratulations. You won a racer phone. Should we call out uh, uh, another one, maybe? Or just keep this? Ah, OK, no. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, Anetra Drakovic from Brave Newbies. Are you there? <laughs> Hands up there. All right, cool. Uh, you know we'll check who you are, right? No, no, <laughs> no cheetah stuff. 
Um, okay, so uh, so uh, uh, we will have these for you uh, at the info desk later in about half an hour, uh, and we'll uh, you know go through your details and check everything and 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 give you your phones uh, there. So be there, uh, and we will uh, get that information out there. Okay, but it's not the only thing. No, the Alliance Attendee Cup. Yeah. The Alliance Attentive Cup. This is a picture from last year, but uh, we had this idea of, you know, we'll hang up the flags of the top 10 alliances uh, here at FanFest. And top 10 alliances being number of attendees, obviously. Who brings These are the registered slots? attendees on Eventbrite that we're going to be giving an yeah. Alliance Cup out to. Yeah. And um, we will uh, we'll go through, like, we'll go through the top five, I think. Top five. Let's look at the top five. Number five. Number five. CBA. How many members? 19 members uh, present at FanFest. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff, guys. <laughs> um, Number four, one of the most awesome people to fight against, Pandemic Horde. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and uh, they brought in uh, 23 uh, hordlings with them. Uh, Number good. three, it's going to be their big daddy, PL. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> big daddy PL always there for backup. Uh, and they brought in 25 <laughs> people. 25 people. So uh, that's, uh, that brings us to uh, the runner-up this year. Number uh, two. Best Alliance, second Best Alliance. <laughs> <laughs> With 36 members. 36 people here at FanFest. Uh, and uh, that brings us to uh, the winner of the Alliance uh, attendance cup this who year. Who will it be? I wonder who it will be. <laughs> It's Goons Form Federation with 60 people! 60 people! <laughs> the biggest blob of them all. Awesome showing. Any one of you in the room now? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, I actually put uh, 60 little bees exactly on that slide. You can count them if you want. It was a pain in the ass, so thanks for that. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> and uh, it's awesome showing. Um, and we, we, we just really appreciate like both the big groups, the smaller groups, and all the individuals that come out to FanFest. Uh, we'd really like to see you know, your pictures with your alliance, with your corp, uh, with the people you meet. Just show us those pictures on social media, and so we can, we can all have fun together. It's going to be uh, amazing. Uh, then we just want to thank our sponsors, uh, and we're going to be doing some stuff on the stream later yes, after this. Are. You guys at home uh, will have games, uh, interviews, all kinds of things happening, so uh, stay tuned. Uh, then we'll have more stuff today. Uh, and uh, those of you at FanFest, go do your FanFest stuff, look around, have fun, and we can't wait uh, for have, you know, to have three awesome days with all of you here. It's just getting started. Thank you so much for having us. We'll see you guys out there, yeah? Let's give it up for Bjorn P. And all of you, see you at FanFest. <laughs>